simple video today. My name is Josh, amateur radio call sign KI6NAZ. This video is for everyone who has yet to get their amateur radio license, upgrade to general, or upgrade to extra. If you have been waiting for something, the FCC has announced that they will begin charging $35 for license applicants, first time licensees, upgrades, vanity call changes, basically anything where you have to go to the FCC for them to do something, $35. If you have been waiting to get your amateur radio license, the time is now. There is an unspecified time before this $35 tax, as I'm calling it, goes into effect. So if you have been waiting, the time is now to get your license. And we're going to talk more about that today on the Ham Radio Crash Course. This new change, uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about my thoughts, but if you want to hear it in long form, I've produced two podcasts with my wife talking about it when it was proposed and now that's gone into effect. I'll post the link to those in the description. If you could sub to our podcast, I'd appreciate it too. It's the Hammer Radio Crash Course podcast, easy to find. You don't even need a link, just search for it. So this fee that the FCC is proposing uh, comes on the heels of an act that was set into law years ago. But the long and the short of it is, we now as amateur radio operators will have to pay $35 for the any time we've got to go back to the FCC for something. Renewals, for instance, $35. That $35 renewal fee is good for 10 years, right? Every time you renew. Every time you get a license, the clock starts. You got 10 years, so that $35 is, uh, is what it's paying for. That means it's $3.50 a year. I appreciate everybody in the comments is already thinking that. I get it. But for those of you that don't have your license yet, haven't upgraded, if you want to save the $35, think about that. Basically, the cost of a Gordon West book, actually less than that, you can get your upgrade, get your license, whatever, save the $35. I will post a link in the description to the handbooks that I recommend for those that are interested in getting their license. I'll post a link to my technician class videos, which are now technically outdated, but the content, the questions haven't changed that much to make them not valuable. And I will be doing an update to that license video here soon. I will also include a link to hamstudy.org, which is a fantastic resource, a free resource for practice tests, as well as the producers of the Signal Stuff Signal Stick, which is my preferred VHF UHF antenna. I view this as a tax on amateur radio operators. I appreciate that the FCC is trying to unify their licensing system across commercial and non-commercial licenses. I get it. The problem is, is that I don't see where the money is going. I don't see the FCC providing any more features or benefit or support to amateurs in and above what they were already doing. Further, the FCC has already gone through a process of automating most of their license processes for amateur radio, among other licenses. And because of that, they've already reduced their cost and their workflow. The people that actually have to go hands-on have been reduced dramatically. So their cost of operation has gone down. So taking more money, providing no real value from that money, after they've already uh, created an efficient workflow for themselves, I just don't get it. Now here's kind of another take on this. One of the reasons why commercial broadcasting has an expensive license levied upon it is because there is policing that the FCC does and these commercial entities are obviously making money directly out of broadcasting radio. That's not the case with amateur radio. In fact, it's prohibited that you run a business using amateur radio, using the radio itself. So again, for that reason, since we're not making money off of it, it would be hindered if we were, I don't see the reason for this. I won't belabor this. There isn't much more to say other than the time is now. We don't know when this will go into effect, although I believe it will be soon. 90 days soon? Maybe. 
So for that reason, please get your license if you're interested in it. There are a multitude of online testing resources, hamstudy.org forward slash sessions, which will be another link in the description, is a place you can go to get online testing. If you are close to being ready to test, I suggest you sign up now for a testing session because they fill up very, very quickly. All right? Yeah, I, I'm bummed out about this, as I'm assuming many, many of you all are as well. For those that aren't bothered by this or feel that they're not affected by this and don't understand what the hullabaloo is about, it's likely because you're in a comfortable situation where you are not bothered by this. You have the mobility to be able to spend the $35 and not worry about it. But to the growth of the hobby and the sustainment of the hobby and continuing it forward for generations, we need to keep an eye out for those that are beginning, those that are young, and those that may be not of the same financial state that you are in. So for all those reasons, those people may be left out in the cold. In the cold in the sense that they won't be able to experience this amazing hobby, which we should really be looking out for. Okay, those are just my thoughts. Feel free to comment in the comments below. I am Josh, KI6NAZ. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you later. See ya.